This is Joe Marchul. I told the Council about my relationship with Leha, as you asked. It didn't go well. It will be a long time before I regain their trust. I'll probably never see Leha again. All that matters is she will be fine. I hear she's almost back to her old self. If you see Leha, tell her... Nothing. Forget it. Joe Marchul out. Now again, it's Bengal Moor. I hope you'll forgive me for sending another message. The masters say talking about my feelings is good. Whether or not you watch these recordings, making them fills me with peace. I think I prefer talking to you, because you saw me at my worst. You understand better than anyone what I became. I remember the rage I felt when you killed my student, Kalef. He was the only true friend I had back then. I see now that his death was my fault. I led him to the dark side and forced you to kill him. That's a hard thing to live with, but I have to try. I owe you that. Master Jedi, I'm aware that my recent military record might raise some concerns. I want to reassure you that my squad fatality rates have not consistently been this high. I suppose that's good to hear. The first squad I commanded after making sergeant was sent to free POWs being held at a small Imperial outpost. Intel said the place would be lightly manned. Most of the Imperials wouldn't arrive for another 24 hours. Intel was wrong. I assume you got more than you bargained for. The Imperials sent their reinforcements a day early. When my squad broke into the outpost, we were outnumbered 10 to 1. We were outmanned and outgunned, but we achieved our objective freed all the POWs, and came out alive. My squad's casualty rate was 97.4%, but we had no fatalities. It's impressive that anyone made it out of there with those odds. They were good soldiers, far better than any of the others I've had under my command. Our mission was accomplished without permanent loss of Republic resources. That squad was effectively trained, and as a result, we achieved victory much more efficiently. They must have been remarkable soldiers. They are. Good soldiers are a resource. Yes, their loss damages the war effort, but they are meant to be used. Victory for the Republic is worth any cost. Master Jedi, our downtime has had a positive impact on my battle readiness. I believe I'm 14.2% more prepared for combat now. It's good to know you've been using your time wisely, Sergeant. I've had a lot of time to think. I've forgotten what that was like. Relax while you can, Sergeant. There's more fighting ahead. I'm looking forward to it. I've been thinking about my original squad. I haven't seen any of them since we liberated that POW camp. They seem to be on active duty, but I can't find any mention of commendations or recognition. They should be decorated soldiers. I'm sure you'll find something. Carson, Naja, Eckerd, that whole squad has simply vanished. They're probably just posted somewhere far from the fighting. It seems like a terrible waste of skilled personnel. They'd be most valuable to the Republic deployed on the front. This just doesn't make sense to me. Finally tracked down my old squad mates, Master Jedi. Wishing I hadn't. General Garza recruited them into the Special Forces Black Ops program. But now, they're in a detention facility on Birun, convicted of war crimes. War crimes are a serious charge. How did your old squad go from being heroes to convicted criminals? Black Ops doesn't make heroes. It trains killers. If the right targets die, no one complains. They renamed my old squad the Surgeons. Tasked them with destabilizing the Empire's command structure by removing its best leaders. But the surgeons didn't just target Imperial commanders. They went after the officers' families. They wanted to send the enemy a message. Killing women and children is never acceptable. Good soldiers know what acceptable targets are. This wouldn't have happened on my watch. 
The detention center's warden says my old squad mates are serving life sentences. They're young. That's a lot of years to spend in cages. The next time I get nostalgic and curious, Master Jedi, give me a planet to invade. What have you got for me? Wow. Only a few dozen senators have access to those accounts. One of them must be an Imperial spy. Until we find out who hired the bounty hunter and why, we can't be sure of anything. I never pictured you as a politician. I never realized you had so many varied skills, T7. Old Doc's always been more of a lover than a fighter. But I had to up my game since you came around. It's not easy looking good when you're fighting next to a Jedi. But I figured out the trick. Care to clue me in before our next big battle? Let's just say I'm getting a new nickname. Dr. Knockout. Yep. Next time we're surrounded by the scum of the galaxy, they're gonna be sorry they met me. I don't believe this! We missed the party of the Millennium last night. It's all over the holonet. Music, dancing, attractive people. Oh, we could have been a part of it if we hadn't been on the wrong side of the galaxy, saving everyone's lives as usual. Two heroes of the Republic would have been colossal at that shindig. Infinite opportunities for romance. We would have had it made. Just think about how much more colossal we'll be at these parties once the Empire is defeated. We've already earned more admirers than we'll ever have time for. Anything extra is just wasteful. I'm in the prime of my life, and I'm spending it with people who enjoy running around on exploding planets. All I want is to abuse our fame just for one night. Is that so wrong? Your people speaking of the Empire sound like a distorted echo. When I was born, we thought the rest of the galaxy to be mystery and legend. We had been alone for a thousand years. What was it like? I can't even imagine. We were what you made us. In my youth, Jedi were how you threatened errant children. Obey your masters or the Jedi will obliterate you. For thousands of years, we had total control of a hundred star systems. Then the Jedi drove us to the farthest fringe of the galaxy. The Emperor had subjugated thousands of species. Every non-Force user was enslaved. They were safe and served to their own capability. This is hardly worth debating. I gain nothing from understanding how your Republic's fools view the galaxy. I am surprised that once your council finishes its brainwashing, any Jedi has a spine left to oppose the Emperor. Perhaps you are young enough to still cultivate the strength of the Sith. Revan, the Exile, and I were all Jedi trained, and we all resisted the Emperor. What Sith have done so? That was... a surprise. In three centuries I expected to see one test his strength against the Dark Lord. 
But those strong enough to challenge him are killed young, or co-opted into the Dark Council. Perhaps you are right. Jedi strengths are different, not necessarily lesser. I do not know how more to prepare you to face the Emperor. What has your training been? All I know of Jedi ways is from Revan. Surely they have changed in 300 years. How does someone become the Emperor's Wrath? There has only ever been one. My training as a Sith was not far different than Korriban today. Only my visions set me apart, made them bring me before the Emperor. In his presence, I first saw who he was and what he planned. You still chose to serve him? I chose to live, long enough to find one who could defeat him. I thought Revan and the Jedi Exile were my chance. Revan and the Jedi Exile are legends. What were they like? It should not have surprised anyone that Revan turned Sith. He knew you cannot fight the dark side without understanding it. The Exile was harder to read. Even with all she had done, she never trusted herself. With Revan, she was his student again. I liked them. I would have served them, but my vision told me they would fail. I cut down the Exile and brought Revan to the Emperor as a gift. You regret betraying them. There is room in the Force to forgive even such heinous crimes. I do not seek forgiveness. The only way to live long enough to find the Jedi who would kill the Emperor, to find you, was to convince him to trust me. He took my offering and gave me a place at his side. He gave me immortality. It was a gift, but not without its price. So, when do I get my own Padawan? Always wanted to be a teacher. Patience. You'll have your wish someday, and that student will be in excellent hands. Be a shame not to share my wisdom. I've been racking it up fast lately. Here. Pretend you're my Padawan. Got a hypothetical moral dilemma for you. Say you could only save the Republic or the Jedi Order. Which would you choose and why? Don't think. Answer. That's too big a question not to put a little thought into. Bzz, too late. The Jedi Order and the Republic are both dead. Happy? Correct answer was Jedi Order, by the way. Without us around to protect it, the Republic can't survive. Without a Republic to defend, would we still be Jedi? Or would we become something else? Interesting point, Padawan. I'll answer your question. Later. This teaching thing's fun. Have to do it again sometime. in orbit around Voss, Master Satil. Be wary when you reach the surface. Voss is a strange world under the absolute control of a group of powerful Force users called the Mystics. The Mystics reject the idea that the Force has both a light and dark side. They claim to follow a neutral path, 
both in their politics and the Force. Despite their claims, I fear the mystics have more in common with the Sith than with us. Whatever the Emperor is up to, I'll stop it. We haven't uncovered the Emperor's plan to destroy Vos yet, but he recently dispatched a Sith Lord named Fulminus to this system. Lord Fulminus created the Harrowers you face in the Emperor's fortress. Be wary. Give me his location, and I'll take care of this. We know Fulminus is somewhere on Vos. He's communicating with the Emperor through an encrypted communications relay. We've detected several signal scramblers outside the planet's capital city of Vos Ka. Disable them, and we can track the comm signal to his location. You can count on me. If you act quickly, you should be able to disable all the scramblers before Fulminus knows what's happening. Then we can find him. May the Force be with you. brought me someplace nice. Look, shops and restaurants. Things worth fighting over. the last scrambler. Now, to get a fix on that signal. The signal's originating from a nearby cave. Fulminus must be inside. So far, this mission is a breeze. Wanna bet it gets harder in a hurry?
need a medic. Outsider, why are you here? I came here in search of a man named Lord Fulminus. We have the same goal. This is a problem. I am Tala Ray. You wear Jedi garb, Sith sworn enemy. We want none of your war. I search for Fulminus. Do not interfere. We both want the same thing. Maybe we should team up. I seek Valen Da. He is a powerful mystic. I am sworn to protect him. Three days ago, Valen Da left the mystic temple with Lord Fulminus. Neither have been seen since. I tracked a comm signal from Lord Fulminus to here. He could be hiding deeper inside. You wish violence upon Lord Fulminus. Fulminus has one goal, to wipe out all life on Voss. I will do what I must to stop him. Your actions may harm Valen Da. That must not be. Leave. No! Get back, you foul monsters! You want to peel the flesh from our bones! It's okay. Calm down. Nobody's here to peel off your flesh. The beasts want to feast on our innards! Kill them before they chew out our guts! monsters, mad with terror. You know how to handle yourself in combat. As do you. Your martial skill is impressive. Here, a hollow recorder. Welcome back, Lord Fulminus. The ritual preparations are complete. Is this boss going to be our first test subject? Valandar is still useful to me. The same cannot be said of you. No! Oh. Please don't! Ah, ah! The monsters! I can see them! They're everywhere! They're all around me! No! No! So your mystic was still alive when this hollow was made? There is more. We're done here. Take me to the Shrine of Healing. The journey is long. We must go now. Tell me where I can find the Shrine of Healing so I can stop Fulminus. Fulminus is dangerous. We must work together. First you ordered me to leave. Now you want to team up? The situation changed. The Shrine of Healing is sacred. A place of ancient power. Fulminus can cause great harm there. The journey to the Shrine is arduous. I will make preparations. Here, the location of my supply camp. Meet me there. We will continue our mission. Oh, 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 oh. 